Hello Divi Nation, in this video I'll be showing you how to style your pricing tables in Divi. So this is the final layout that we're aiming for, so I'll be showing you step by step how we managed to achieve this design. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how we managed to do this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a new page. So I'm going to come here to Pages and then click on Add New. So let's call this page Pricing Table. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and click on Use the Divi Builder. So here I'm going to insert a single column and also the Pricing Tables module. Okay, so let's start off by adding the new Pricing Table. I'm going to make sure that I, I add the most important things that I need in here. So let's start off with the title. So the title here is basic. So that's the basic plan. The currency is going to be in US dollars. And then uh, the price is going to be $19 for this one. The button URL for now, I'm just going to add a blank link, but you need to make sure that this button URL links to whatever item that you're selling. So this is just for demo, uh, demo purposes. Okay, so for the button text, we're going to make sure that it's, it says sign up. Okay, so that's good so far. And then what we need to do is to list the items that come with this package. So I'm just going to enter my text in here. This package comes with two gigs, one user, one add-on, 24 hour support and updates. Okay, so now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and click on save. To save you time, what you need to do is to duplicate this and then just make the adjustments that you need to make for the next items. So I'm going to go into the settings here and make sure that this item is set to featured because this is the one that's going to be in the middle. This plan is going to be called premium. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and change the pricing. So this one is 49 and then here we're going to change this to from 2 to 20 gig and this allows 10 users and the add-ons are 5 for this one. 24 hour support and update stays as it is. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on save. And then for the final one, I'm just going to duplicate this one more time, go into the settings and then here this is called professional. So we're going to scroll down here. The price here is 99. And then here we need to make some more adjustments. So for this, it's 100 gig. And then for the users, it's unlimited. And then here for instead of five add-ons, it's all add-ons. 24 hour support and updates stays as it is. So let's go ahead and click on save. Okay, so I'm going to save and exit for now. And then we're going to do a quick preview and take a look at how this looks so far. So I'm going to publish this page. And then let's view this in a new tab. Okay, so that's looking good so far. But what I noticed now is when I duplicated it, it's made this item the featured item. So we're going to go and change that. And then the next thing we're going to do now is also to make sure that these buttons here are smaller than the, the button on the featured item. So let me show you quickly how to do that. So let's go back into our settings here and then make sure that this item is not selected. So you can see here where it says, uh, make this item a featured, uh, featured. I'm just going to toggle that to no. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Okay, so that's looking good. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to adjust the buttons. So I'm going to click on the settings and then I'm going to go into the advanced design settings. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down until I find the use custom styles for button. I'm going to click on yes on that and then I'm going to make sure that the size is set to 14. Click on save and then I'm going to do the same thing for the basic. So I'm going to go into the advanced design settings, scroll all the way down, toggle that to yes and then I'm going to make sure this is 14 too. Okay, so I'm going to click on save, save and exit, click update and then we're going to refresh the page and take a look at the changes that we've made so far. So I'm going to refresh this now. So now you can see this is the featured item right here in the middle. The button is much bigger than the, the buttons that we have on the basic and professional. So we're going to go ahead now and do some more styling to this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some more adjustments. So I'm going to come here into the settings and then we're going to go into the advanced design settings. So now we need to make sure that the table header uh, background color is set to black. So I'm just going to click here and I'm going to set that to black. So I'm going to scroll down here and also make sure that the header font is set to is set to Mozart. Okay, so I'm going to make it bold and I'm also going to make it all caps. So scroll all the way down until you get to the body font. So we're going to change this to Laura. 
So we're going to scroll down here until we get to Laura. So then you need to scroll down here and make sure that you select uh, the option here to yes for use border. So here the border width needs to be set as pick six pixels. So I'm just going to type in six. The border style by default is set to solid. So we're going to make ours double. Okay, you need to make sure the border color is set to black. And then we're going to select use custom styles for button. The button text color is set to black and the button background color is set to white. So what we need is the currency. So the currency and frequency text color. So let's change that to black. Then here we're going to change the currency and frequency fonts to Laura. Okay, so the other settings that you need to make are making sure that the currency and frequency text color is set to black. And also you need to make sure that the price font is set to Laura. Okay, you can leave the size edit as it is. It's set to 80 by default. So if yours is not set to 80, you might need to change that to 80. And then the price text color is also, is also needs to be black. Okay, so moving down here, the body text color needs to be set to black as well. And the body line height needs to be set to 24. Okay, so what we need to do next is just to make sure all our list of items need to be centered. So all you have to do is to click on this align center button. Okay, like that. And just do the same for the other items for the premium and also for the professional. And then we're going to go ahead, click on save and exit. And then click update. So now if we refresh, you'll see that all our items are now centered. Okay, so finally, what we need to do now is to add the background image to finalize our design. So I'm going to come here to the section settings and then I'm going to click upload an image. Click on select files. Now my image is in the downloads folder. So I'm going to double click on it. And then I'm going to set it as the background. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm going to save, save and exit and then click update. Okay, so this is our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe on our social media platforms because we are producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. So by subscribing, you'll be notified every time we post a new video. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.